Hi everybody, this is Francis Obenamaler and you are watching Allied Vision Answers. After Allied Vision introduced the revolutionary one product line for embedded vision, many people asked us the same question. What's the difference between a sensor module and a camera module? Well, let's answer this question for you right now. Today, embedded systems typically rely on a low-cost sensor module connected to the processing board via a flex cable MIPI CSI2 interface. As you can tell from the name, a sensor module consists of an image sensor on a carrier board, and that's about it. The image data delivered by the sensor is more or less raw, as the sensor only has limited image processing capabilities. So most of the image correction has to take place on the host side. Image pre-processing, such as noise reduction and color debayering, converts the raw image data into an optimized image. Additionally, the actual application-specific processing, like facial recognition, is completed on the host processor. So technically, the whole system acts as a camera, with the sensor module delivering raw data and the host processor creating usable images out of this data. A camera module, on the other hand, has its own processor with image processing capabilities and a built-in sensor interface. The raw images from the sensor are corrected and optimized directly in the camera processor. Therefore, the camera module delivers ready-to-use images to the host processor. The host processor concentrates on the actual application tasks, such as finding a face in the image. So unlike a sensor module, a camera module is a complete camera with its full functionalities, except it doesn't have a housing. On the integration side, a sensor module will be far less flexible than a camera module because each sensor requires a specific driver. So for example, if you design your system with sensor A, a one megapixel image sensor, you will need to write and install a specific driver for sensor A to make your sensor module communicate with your processing board. If at a later point in time, you decide to upgrade your system to sensor B, a higher resolution two megapixel sensor, you will need to start the sensor integration all over again. Remove sensor A's driver, write a new driver for sensor B, and install it on your host processor. This is not the case with the camera module. All you have to do is write and install a driver for the camera module. In fact, if you're using a popular platform, there's a high chance the camera vendor will provide you with a ready-to-use driver, removing all programming effort you'd have to complete otherwise. Because the camera module includes a processor with its own sensor interface, you can use any version of this module with whatever sensor you want. For example, sensor A with one megapixel, sensor B with two megapixel, or whatever other sensor offered by the camera vendor on this platform. All sensor variants are supported by the same driver, and you can easily upgrade your system's vision capabilities just by replacing the camera module. So to summarize, a sensor module has extremely limited onboard image processing, which means your host processor needs to perform most of the image correction tasks. Each sensor module has its own driver, which makes it quite inflexible for design changes. Also, if new and better sensors become available in the future, you will have to integrate the new sensor from scratch. With the camera module, image correction and optimization tasks are performed on board the camera, which frees CPU capacity on the host side. One driver for the whole platform means you can easily switch between different sensors. This gives you much more flexibility to test different sensor models offer different sensor options of your system, or upgrade it in the future. Even sensors that do not exist on the market today will be supported by your system in the future if they are offered on the same camera module platform. So in a nutshell, camera modules deliver ready to use optimized images to your system and are much easier and flexible to integrate. In particular, they leave you a lot of possibilities to upgrade your system in the future with minimal effort and costs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more videos just like this. See you soon again with another edition of Ally Vision Answers.